Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners and in this tutorial we will create one model uh, of a spoon so which is uh, which we use in uh, kitchen wares so uh, let us start with a generative shape design here and so just we will uh, switch to generative shape design and just take a sketcher So uh, I will create one profile here. So maybe just select this top plane over here. So we will pro create this profile here uh, for the uh, spoon. So uh, let's take a spline command. Just select a spline. and then escape this so uh, now we will provide this uh, dimension so uh, first just double click and make this point as tangent and make it parallel to this select this make this Sorry, it is not coming here so just make this uh, perpendicular and now just go to the edit multi constraint Sorry, just provide some uh, these dimensions here. So select this one and this one. So provide the dimensions to the all the points, control points over here. Just provide this and then after that uh, provide the vertical dimensions so uh, now we will provide these uh, dimensions and just go to the edit multi constraint option so you will get all these dimensions over here so uh, just change the dimension first uh, dimension provide 5.963 so let's say 5.963 then uh, the uh, second point dimension provide here uh, 11.993 Then the third point, uh, third point is uh, 16.37. Just provide 16.37. The fourth point uh, is now 11.365. 11.365. Just provide the dimension 5.537. Point five three seven. You can uh, play with these dimensions, and uh, you can provide a dimension. No problem. I just tried this. And twenty five point zero zero seven. So twenty five. Just try twenty five. No problem. Then ninety three point. So uh, provide 35.428, so the last point is 40, 
this point is first we pro provide uh, 40 and here it is 35.428 35.428 I'll just prove it and uh, then click OK. So the profile gets uh, modified. You can drag and drop this dimensions here. I'll keep this as it is. So uh, let's exit this. And now uh, insert one more geometrical set and provide a name a reference planes so just select the plane and make it offset from the top plane let's say 8 mm now again make this define and now sketch on this plane So now we'll create uh, one profile, another profile. So this is that profile, and we'll uh, create a tail end of this uh, spoon. So first, let's take a line, make an inclined line, and uh, after that, just select this and create this arc. And now provide this uh, dimensions over here. Again, we will provide this twenty-two dimensions. And let's provide this radius. So uh, this is the distance. Let's say one one seven point eight two seven. Just provide that. Maybe we will we'll have to delete one. One one seven point eight two seven. One one seven point eight two seven. And uh, the angle two point six one nine. Two point six one nine. And the radius here is eight mm. Or uh, maybe nine mm is okay. Uh, just make it six and now I'll exit this so uh, now this two sketches are created so uh, again we will add one geometrical set over here and name it as course Now just select this spline over here, select the sketch 1 and tangency, then sketch 2, sorry, select this point and select this point. And for this sketch two, so now this spline is created. And then click OK. So now we will uh, do one thing again, we will create one geometrical set here okay no problem so we'll just uh, join this in this course only so go to the join command and select this course and then join it and now we will mirror this just select a mirror option and mirror against this yz plane and then click ok so now our profile is completed so we'll again take some reference planes so 
select this and take some offset planes here let's add uh, 30 mm then we'll take one another let's take 15 mm and make this offset in the reverse direction so we'll hide this now select this plane and select this point and select normal to curve and then select this curve and then click ok another select uh, this curve and this point and then click ok so now this uh, four reference planes are created so we'll just first hide this so wait we'll uh, create this point first so just make this define work object and with the intersection command we'll create the intersection over here just select the first element and then click ok so intersection point is created Really create here sorry I have taken this plane here just select this and this so here we already have that point so no need to create it so now just make a sketch on this plane Let's fade this. So we can hide this plane first because there will be some confusion again. So just create a profile with a spline again. So select a spline command. Get this and make these two points as coincidence. Yeah, hopefully the right one. Similarly, select this point and this point and make it coincidence. Just adjust these profiles. exit this so now hide this plane over here and make the plane 3 show ok so uh, let us select this plane and uh, make a sketch on it Again, select a spline command and make this sketch. Just make it mirror with this axis and now select these points and give the coincidence command Just select a coincidence you already uh, get coincidence here and then exit this so 
now I will again hide this and make it on just select this cage so now select the uh, spline command so I'll just create one Over here and delete this point here. So just select this point and make this coincidence here. Again select this point and make it coincidence here. And now just adjust these profiles. Then exit this. So just hide this and select this spline command, select this two points over here and then click OK. So uh, now let us try with the multi-section surface. So select a profile, select the second profile, make a preview, select the uh, third profile and then this one so just provide the uh, guides over here just select the guide 1 and uh, this guide 2 so now this pi is created then just click ok so what we will do now uh, we will just uh, join this First, we'll add here a geometrical set. Let's add a surface, and we'll just shift this to the surface. So all the surfaces we will make it in in this. Just make the defined work object, and we'll now. We will trim this guide. So so let us trim this or maybe split we can split. So let us uh, split this first just select the element to cut so just uh, select the element to cut and cutting element will be this uh, sketch and make it keep both sides and then click ok so now this part is separated so uh, now select this uh, fill command just make it define in work object and select the fill command select this select this go and then like this so we need to make it a tangent just select uh, this split and make it as a support Again, try this. Just delete this here. Select the fill command. Select this surface and select this as a support. Then select this entity and then select this. So 
so it is doing showing some error here so we are doing some wrong practice here just select this uh, sketch and provide it as a support then select this second sketch and then so now this second operation is created so now we'll just create this uh, tail end here so here again uh, just select the fill command select this course here and then click ok so now our spoon is created so now we will simply provide a thickness to it so let us go to the uh, part design and here uh, select the thickness option so just select the thickness option and so it will be added in the part body so cancel it and so sorry we need to join this first made a mistake here again so go to the uh, generative design so Again in the surface command we will first join this so that just select this multi sections fill 2 and fill 3 and then click ok. So now we have just joined this and now we can provide the thickness at a time. So uh, go to the part design and just select a thickness command and now you can see here you can provide a thickness. So let us reverse it and provide this thickness so, so we have provided this thickness so let's hide this and hide all these surfaces so now you can see here the spoon is created so now you can provide the fillets over here so let's say uh, 0.5 mm we will provide here So maybe it is uh, the radius is going higher there. So make it remove, make it remove, and then just try here, and then we go okay. It's better to remove this. Sorry, it is again 5 mm. 0.5 mm. So it is added here, but still 
there is error because uh, the thickness is uh, very very low so we will provide uh, all the fillets over here so uh, in this way you can create a spoon with a generative shape design uh, in katia v5 so uh, thank you very much for watching and please uh, do like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you very much